My name is Pearl Mackey and I'm a student at the Bristol Old Vic Theatre School at the moment. Paul Robeson was obviously a very inspirational man. He fought very hard and had quite a struggle to fight for the representation of black people on, on camera and in the theatre as well. When I was about six or seven, I think, I remember seeing on the wall there was a, a photograph, a drawing, in fact, of a black man, Paul Robeson, um, with Paul Robeson as Othello written underneath it. And I, I asked my mum what, what that was, and she explained to me that um, it was a quite a big thing for Paul Robeson to have played Othello as a black man because they used to obviously have white men blacking up. And I found that fascinating. I couldn't understand why on earth they didn't allow black men to play a black character. But to me personally, as a young black actress, it, it reminds me of the struggle that women had for representation, black women had for representation at the time. I think the career of Hattie McDaniel is quite an interesting, to, interesting one to compare with Paul Robeson's. She was uh, the first black actress to be nominated for an Oscar and to win an Oscar for the best uh, supporting actress in the film Gone with the Wind. And whilst her, that, that's a, a fantastic achievement for a black actress, for any black person at the time, it's it, the role that she won it for was a very, very stereotyped perception of a black person, was the mammy character that um, is a very stock character in Hollywood films at the time and was sort of the only opening that many black women had. Black women are still struggling for representation of the different jobs and the, obviously the, the, the wide range of, of places that they occupy in society, um, in British cinema and television and in obviously in Hollywood mainstream television as well.